What is up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well today. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Eddie. I'm a screen printer who loves to create video here on YouTube. So hopefully you find today's video very helpful. In today's video, I want to talk about five different ways to post photos and or videos on Instagram just using your computer. So back in 2018, I created a very similar video, but it seems like that method no longer works anymore. So I thought to myself, I needed to make an updated version of this video here in 2020. Now, as of the time of this upload video, these methods do work, but if they do not work anymore, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure there's other methods out there right now. Now, just to give you a general overview, the first three that I'll be covering is free, but very, very limited. The fourth one is free as well, but there's limitations and in order to break those limitations, you have to pay for it. And the last one, which is personally my favorite, you do have to pay for it, but it's a one-time payment and you can have all the features of what Instagram has to offer. So let me go over each one with you guys right now. Now the first method, you're gonna go to Instagram.com. Once you are logged in, uh, you should be able to see your uh, feed just like this. You're gonna right click and then you're gonna scroll down to inspect. Once you click inspect, you're gonna see the coding on the right side, just ignore all of that. And this right here should be highlighted, the toggle device toolbar. Once it's highlighted blue, you know that you are viewing it the same way you would on your phone. And you should see a circle uh, indicating, kind of mimicking your finger tap touch way, if that makes sense. Then you click on the right, top right, and down you should see a plus symbol. On this plus symbol, you can upload the photo that you like. But again, the limitation, you have no filters and you can't really crop your photos. The way you have your image is the way it's going to be posted and you can't post any videos. You're gonna click next. You can write your caption here. You can tag people and then you can click share. There you go, the photo has been shared. Now the first method is very easy, simple to use, straightforward, but if you don't like the inspect method, if you don't like seeing all that coding, there is a second method. Just type in direct messages for Instagram and search. You're gonna see the top, it's for Google Chrome, it's an extension that you're going to be add on. Click add to Chrome, add extension, and then right over here, you're gonna see this little arrow added on. You're going to click on that and a new box should open up. Now these are your messages. Now this extension is nice because you're also able to direct message with people on Instagram through your computer instead of always typing. So if, you're, if you do a lot of business work, a lot of messaging, a lot of replying, this is perfect for you. But you can also upload the same way you would on the inspect method. So I can type, hey Wilbur, send it. And I can also chat add emojis, do simple things. I can like, view stories. When you view stories, you can't view any videos. You can only see photos. Go back, cool. It looks just like the inspect method. You can like photos. You can comment on them if you'd like. Now you could add stories, but you can only add photos. You cannot add any videos. So if you look at the top left corner, you can click on that. I'll upload the same photo as a story mode and you can click add story. You can edit, you can do what you need to do. Write a text, ha ha ha. It's the same text that I'm gonna write every time. Cool, I'm gonna discard that. Bottom, you're gonna go to the plus sign. Then you can add the photo you wanna add. Same thing as the first method. You can write your caption and you can share it. And once you share, it is posted. Now the second method is more than enough for most people, but if they would like to have a little bit more photo features, then the third option is going to be the best option. You're gonna search up windowed.io. Here you're gonna press download, and you can choose whether you need it for Mac or window. Once you have it downloaded, you're gonna open it up and it's gonna look just like your first and second method. You can still message people. Oh, hi dad, hi son. Now this method only gives you like one extra little feature, but some people might really want that one extra feature. Once you add a photo, uh, you're going to go to filter and you get this. So you get the filter option, where there, whereas the first two options you don't get it. Same thing, you're going to press next, same thing, you're going to share it. Once you share it, it is uploaded and you can delete from here as well. Now on this fourth method, you can upload photos and videos, but there's slight limitations, but you can work around it. Now you have to go to latelysocial.com. You're gonna create an account. You have to add your credit card information, but you can choose the plan where it's a zero dollars. Once you've linked everything, you're gonna click on Instagram on the far left 
corner, you're gonna click post. Now once you're on, you can upload directly from Dropbox, you can upload from Google Drive or from your computer. In this case, I'm gonna upload the same image on my computer and boom, the photo is up. You can add a caption, you can schedule posts. Now the neat thing about Lately Social is that you can schedule posts. So if you don't want to be on your phone or computer and post every day reminding yourself to post, you can sit down one sitting and upload 10 different photos or posts for the next month and schedule them so they'll do them automatically. So you're gonna schedule your posts, make sure you click on your Instagram profile because that's where we wanna schedule it to. And then you're going to uh, choose the time post you want, the date, the year, the time, what you like, uh, Times get very, very specific here by minutes. Then you can schedule the post and it'll post automatically. Or if you don't want to schedule it, you can uncheck the box and click post now. You can also add stories and you can also add carousel photos as well. But here's the limitation. You can only upload up to two megabytes worth of files. So if you're uploading one photo, you can only upload two megabyte photo. If you're uploading a video, you only have a limitation of two megabytes. And if you're doing a carousel, you got to divide them up into like one megabyte here, one megabyte here, or 0 0.3, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.7 for four photos. Although it's limiting, it's probably the best free platform to upload photos onto Instagram through your computer at the moment. Now, if you do go in the top right corner, you can view the plans that they have. They have a personal plan, agency plan. They have six different plans. For the $0 one, again, you get a maximum file size of two megabytes upload. Then once you start going to the next plan over, which is the personal plan, which is $9 a month, you can have a storage amount of 1,000 megabytes and you can upload up to 200 megabytes of file sizes. Now you probably choose this route if you have your own business or if you're a social media influencer or if you post regularly and have client work, this is perfect for you. Although you do have to pay monthly, it's a powerful platform where you can schedule posts, post posts, post posts, post posts uh, if you don't want to schedule and remind yourself to post at certain times and days you can just do it automatically and that's very convenient now this is where the fifth method kind of comes in very handy because there is no monthly fee option but it is a one-time payment you make and you have the entire features you have on Instagram on your phone on your computer you are going to go to flume app com. Unfortunately, this is only available for Mac and Apple users at the moment. Hopefully they create it for PCs in the future. And unfortunately, you can't post anything with the free version. You have to upgrade to the pro version in order to post photos and videos. Now, once you have it downloaded and you log in, you'll see the app pop up. You can view it, your uh, feed, by scrolling down like this, like you would on your phone, or you can change it to a grid mode where you can see a ton of posts all at once on your feed. We see Wilbur right here. We can like it. You can also add comments, cute. You can also scroll through posts to see one by one if you'd like to. Now this is your feed. If you click on the star, you can see what's recommended for you, what Instagram is recommending for you. If you scroll down here, you can also search uh, for people if you'd like. People, tags, places. Uh, let's just type in Wilbur. Awesome. You can also see your notifications down here. Right here, V3 Dance tagged you in a post. You can click on that. If you click the top three right, you can also repost photo. Very cool. And if you go to the message button, you can also message people as well. If you go to the bottom left, you'll see a camera button. You click on that and you upload photos from here. In this case, the same photo. You can add captions. It'll tell you how many hashtags you use down over here and how many people you tag here. You can click on this button right over here to add more photos if you would like. So I can add a video. You can also crop the video if you would like, probably right over there, crop. We can add this photo, resize to fit, done. If you don't want that photo, you can right click on it, remove it. Now, if you click on this paintbrush tool, you can edit. Uh, if you'd like to, you can add filters or you can make straight alignments, brightness settings. Let's go back to normal right over here. Uh, we can mess with the contrast. We can mess with the structure. You can mess with the warmth. You can mess with the uh, saturation right over here. And there's a whole bunch of things you can edit if you'd like to. You can also tag people. So I want to tag Stella Moon. And I want to also tag, I will tag Wilbur. Done, and then when you click on this button right over here, you can choose to upload on different platforms at the same time. And then once you're all done, you would go down to the bottom right corner and post your post. 
Now the Flume app is a one-time payment of $20 versus a subscription. So once you pay that $20 down, you never have to make another payment ever again. Now if you have two, three, four, five different accounts, you can also add it all into Flume app so you can manage everything from there. Now the only thing you can't do on the Flume app is schedule posts. So if that's really important to you, Lately Social is probably gonna be the best method for you. But for most people, the first three methods are probably gonna be more than enough. Uh, but hopefully you found this video very helpful. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know how I did in the comment section down below or let me know if there's a different method or which method you prefer in the comment section down below as well. Remember to stay passionate, inspired, and grateful in all that you guys do. And I will see you guys in the next video over. Good night, good morning, adios.